on the 4th of July, I remember this wonderful, I, there was some little girls selling lemonade in front of a fireworks stand. And Boy, I thought, where was this? Oh, this was, uh, this was basically in Illinois where I was uh, uh, living at the well, time. I'm surprised that's still legal in Illinois. Well, the, see, I, they actually did. They had a $30 a day health permit. I went up oh, and I was a joke. They pulled I, the permit? Well, I said, uh, you know, little girls, do you have a health permit? And they, the mom was with them and said, yeah, it's right here. Oh, it's so and sad. I pulled it out and I said, how much did you pay for that? And she said, $30 a day. You're not going to make that kind of money at a lemonade stand. Well, well, I mean, what were they were raising the money for? They're like little tutus. They wanted the ballerina outfits. Mm-hmm. And so I said, how much do you need, little girls? And they were like, $60. Uh, and so they needed $60 in permits and $60 in profit. So I just pointed out to the mother, and I said, you know, did the government actually come by? Like, Because you were going to try and poison me, weren't you? You were going to put poison <laughs> in the lemonade. <laughs> Uh, if the government did they actually come by at all and they said no no they just we went there they told us gave how to some money and we gave them the money and they gave us the piece of paper the permit that allows us to so i said so what you know so what imagine this scenario what if you had a guy in a fine italian suit with sam being like hey nice lemonade stand sure would be shame if something happened to it pay me sixty dollars and instead what we have here is a guy with a badge and a gun yep. in a police uniform going hey Nice lemonade stand. Go give the government sixty dollars, or else I'm going to arrest you. Yep. So that's I true. thought there's really no difference between the government and the mafia. All that's different, instead of some guy named Bruno and Vito breaking your kneecaps, you have some guy named Sergeant. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and he has a flashy car too. Well, actually, no. Think about it. they both have. They wear uniforms. They have flashy cars, you know, with lights on them. So the. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's almost identical, but the difference, of course, is the government has put all the window dressing on their violence, so they've managed to confuse people. They've managed to flummox them, to trick them into thinking that they're something more than just a criminal gang. Yeah, at least in the old days, you know, you pay your 30 bucks and they'd send out a health inspector to, like, make sure you weren't trying to do evil. Now it's just give us the money and we'll give you a piece of paper which will allow you to sell your goods and we won't arrest you. 